Okay, so uh, the last video got cut off because uh, the internet just stopped. So uh, we'll stop at this. So in the all the YRM satisfy this same equation. So Laplace in YRM is equals to F or plus L times L plus one of R squared YRM is zero. So they satisfy this. And then this is for all M also. So all the M satisfy this. Okay, so if this PL cosine gamma function satisfy the same equation, it means that uh, it can be expressed as a comb combination of all the YLM because uh, all the M for the same L uh, form a complete set for that uh, function. For all the functions satisfy this equation. So this uh, means that PL cosine of gamma is given by sum even m for minus l to l and a m and jackson is just a m but this is the l can be regarded as a label this business because this is a function that depends on l although we are not summing over l we can put an l in here a l m as coefficient and then multiply by all the YLM. That depends on theta and phi. Okay, so we can exp express PL cosine gamma this way. Now the, the problem is uh, how you get this uh, coefficient ALM. And now we can do the same thing. The, uh, this this ALM, because this is a function in terms of a uh, speaker harmonic, so we can write down the coefficient just like what we did uh, a little bit earlier, this uh, how you explain a function, how to get a coefficient for that. So it's just basically is integrating the solid angle, the YLM, complex conjugate, theta and phi, and multiply by this function PL cosine gamma that we uh, try to do expansion just like that. So, so we have that. All right, but then uh, now uh, we need to use what the last section that we we got. So basically, is this relationship? If you have this uh, relationship that the AL zero given by a, a integration of solid angle PL cosine theta times F a function, okay? And you compare this with that. So you have PL cosine theta here, but you have P, PL cosine gamma here. And this G times this coefficient will be identified as this uh, YLM. Well, it's still recording. So I don't know whether it will continue from what is left of the, the internet is not stable. I don't know whether it's mine or the, whatever the, uh, let's see what will happen if let's continue. So <clears throat> comparing this relationship with this relationship, this imply that uh, what we call the Function g, in our, in this case, is g theta phi. In that case, is our is in, in our case uh, is this coefficient, or divided by this coefficient. So it's four pi over two l plus one, and multiplied by y l m star. Theta and phi. Okay, I should actually say this is not theta because this is, uh, and in this situation, this theta is this theta. So this function actually is, uh, depends on the gamma. I should symbolically write this as a gamma. Okay, all right. So now the same thing happened 
the, this AL, this one will correspond to the AL zero. So that will go to here, right? But the different situation is here. This G function, what you find out is it only depends on one L. It already depends on L, just L. So it just have one L. If you think about it, it's going back to here. If this function going back to here, he has he already has a single L. So when you do a, sub, a, a expansion, it will not have a sum over L, you only have one L. So it's sum over M of one AL, okay? One ALM, okay? So that is a different situation. So this, this AL zero equals to this integration, but then sum over L over this one is also equals to G when, when this angle goes to zero, but we only have one L, so this, Think so you have uh, so using this situation so two l plus one over four pi and this is basically our a l m so a l m is equals to this g function when gamma goes to zero okay. And ga when gamma goes to zero, <coughs> and remember, <coughs> when gamma goes to zero means theta equals to theta pi, phi equals phi pi. So in that situation, that equals to square root of four pi for two L plus one Y L M complex conjugate theta pi and phi pi. Because gamma goes to zero, Theta equals the theta, theta pi phi equals the phi pi. So you change theta to theta pi phi equals the phi pi. So you get this one, okay? So ALM is equal to this one. Uh, multiply by this factor. You can multiply this factor to here and get ALM. And then you put, put back to here. So all together, PL cosine gamma equals to so when you multiply by that, cancel all the square roots. So you have four pi over two L plus one sum over M from minus infinity, uh, minus L to L and then Y L M complex conjugate theta pi phi pi Y L M theta phi. Okay, so that would be the uh, the form of the addition theorem. So this is, uh, let me look that up. This would be e equation, uh, what is the equation number? Equation 3.62. This is 3.62. Okay. And that of course is uh, useful because we already have the how you how you do an expansion of the free space green function in terms of PL cosine gamma. So and so we have a one of x minus x pi is equals to just uh, sum over odd L right uh, sum over odd L from zero to infinity and r smaller to the l, r greater to the l plus one and pl cosine gamma. So all you need to do is put this, substitute this into here that all you get is four pi sum over l from zero to infinity, sum over m from minus l to l. You have one over two l plus one how smaller to L, how greater to L plus one, then Y L M complex conjugate theta pi phi pi, Y L M theta phi. Okay, so that would be a form of this free space green function. Okay, so uh, that is the, the discussion in section 3.6. So I'll stop here and see if I can get all the video parts uh, together.